This article uh, demonstrates the role of astrocytes and in particular of uh, the accumulation of glycogen in astrocytes in a disease called Lafora disease. So astrocytes are one of the cell types that constitute the brain. Uh, the brain is not only composed of neurons but also of other cell types that are collectively known as glial cells. Uh, were thought to have a, a passive supporting role uh, only to, as if only to hold uh, neurons in place. It is becoming increasingly clear that actually glial uh, cells play essential roles in the normal functioning of the brain and also in several neurological diseases. Now, um, glycogen is a polymer of glucose uh, that is used by many cells and organs to, uh, as a, an energetic reservoir, but in some conditions glycogen abnormally accumulates in the brain. And the most striking example of this is Lafora disease, which is a genetic neurodegenerative disease that affects children in their early childhood and or adolescence, and that uh, typically begins with uh, epileptic seizures but prog uh, rapidly progresses with cognitive deterioration and finally death within 5-10 years after the onset. Uh, Lafora disease is characterized by the accumulation of glycogen aggregates uh, known as Lafora bodies in the brain of the patients. Uh, we demonstrated some years ago that the accumulation of these glycogen aggregates are the cause of the disease and that impeding glycogen accumulation prevents the progression of the disease. Um, but these uh, Lafora bodies uh, have been classically thought to accumulate exclusively in uh, neurons. What we show in this new article is that while neurons do accumulate Lafora bodies, actually most of these uh, glycogen aggregates accumulate in astrocytes and that are these astrocytic Lafora bodies the ones that underlie neuroinflammation and neurodegeneration in the disease. So these uh, results have uh, important implications for the design of treatments for the disease and might also be very relevant for other conditions in which glycogen abnormally accumulates in the brain. And this work has been done in the context of an international consortium and that has funding from an NIH uh, grant. And, and this consortium and, and the, the attention of the grant was promoted by a, um, a patient's association uh, that promoted the uh, work together in the, to find a cure for the disease.